staying connected is so easy these days, with cell phones attached to us 24 hours a day it's not an excuse anymore. But what price are we paying? Not in money but with our health? Recently, five high school students asked the same question. In biology they conducted an experiment to find out and the results left us speechless, as well as some researchers in England, Holland and Sweden. It all started when the girls noticed they were struggling to pay attention at school and wondered why this was happening. We all think we have experienced difficulty concentrating in school, if we had slept with the phone next to our head, and sometimes also experienced having difficulty sleeping, explains Lee Nielsen, one of the students in the experiment. The girls decided to conduct an experiment, does Wi-Fi cause lack of focus? The experiment. 400 cress seeds were separated between 12 different containers. All the containers were kept in the same room, at the same temperature, with the same amount of water. Six of the containers were placed next to a Wi-Fi router, which emit the same type of radiation as a regular cell phone. After 12 days, the results were clear. The cress seeds that were kept as far away as possible from the Wi-Fi router grew healthily and became green. The seeds next to the router, well let's just say they didn't make it. It is truly frightening that there is so much affect, so we were very shocked by the result, says Lee. The experiment concluded that Wi-Fi radiation can expose your body to elements that will greatly affect your health. None of us sleep with the mobile next to the bed anymore. Either the phone is put far away, or it is put in another room. And the computer is always off, says Lee. Al Johansson, a renowned professor at the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm, says the girls' experiment was brilliant. The girls stayed within the scope of their knowledge, skillfully implemented and developed a very elegant experiment. The wealth of detail and accuracy is exemplary, choosing Cress was very intelligent, and I could go on, he says. I sincerely hope that they spend their future professional life in researching, because I definitely think they have a natural aptitude for it. Personally, I would love to see these people in my team. Will you be sleeping with your phone next to you after this?